For more physics related videos, please subscribe. In this video, I'm going to cover the five best books for anyone interested in learning stellar physics. Now, stellar physics and astrophysics in general is a mix of every kind of physics. You need to know Newtonian mechanics, Newtonian gravity, general relativity, special relativity, quantum mechanics, particle physics, nuclear physics, thermodynamics, statistical mechanics, and it all gets mixed together. So you're going to need a basic background in physics in general. So before you get to stellar physics books, you should have books on physics in general. And I've already covered the top 10 books for physics in general, so I recommend you check out that video as well. Now, assuming you've got some basic background in physics in general, here are the top five books for anyone interested in learning stellar physics. Starting at number five, we have Introduction to Stellar Astrophysics by Erika Baum Vitensi. Now, this book is actually a set of three books and is geared more towards people interested in observational astrophysics. So people who want to look at stars through telescopes. As we can see, the first volume is called Basic Stellar Observations and Data. So it's starting off with the basics of observing. As a result, the order of things in this series of three books is a little bit strange from a purely physics point of view or a theoretical physics point of view. For example, I have an entire series on the basics of stellar physics and I start off with stellar formation and move along chronologically in a stellar life cycle up until star deaths. In this series, however, stellar formation is the last chapter of the last book, which may seem strange, but from an observationalist point of view, you want to start off with the basics of observation. What do you actually see coming from stars? How do you measure it? And what can you infer from it? Now, even though the order might be a little bit strange from a theoretical point of view, the physics in this book, or this series of three books, is very thorough and covers everything you're going to need to know about stellar astrophysics, starting from basic principles. So if you're interested in stellar astrophysics, particularly if you're interested in being an observer, an astronomer, this set of three books is pretty much a must-have. Moving on to number four, we have Gravitation by Meisner, Thorne, and Wheeler. Now, this book was actually one of my top 10 books of general physics books you should have if you're interested in learning physics. And it is essentially the Bible of gravitation. It covers everything you need to know about gravity. And if you're going to be studying stars, you're going to need to know something about gravitation. If you're finding this video interesting so far, please be sure to like and subscribe. Maybe share it with a few friends. The last three books in this list are the three books on which most of my series on stellar physics are based. A number of people have asked me which books I've used. Well, I pretty much based everything in this series on the following three books. So, at number three, we have Principles of Stellar Evolution and Nucleosynthesis by Donald Clayton. This book basically covers everything you need to know about stellar evolution and is primarily focused on nuclear evolution in stars. But it has all the other physics as well, because in order to understand the nuclear physics, you have to also understand everything else that's going on inside the star. Now, this book is very well written, but the material is difficult. Moving on to number two, we have Black Holes, White Dwarfs, and Neutron Stars, The Physics of Compact Objects by Shapiro and Tucholsky. This book is primarily focused on late stages in the stellar life cycle. But again, in order to understand the end stages of a stellar life cycle, you have to understand everything that was taking place leading up to that. So it also covers stellar physics in general. Now, this book is from a theoretical point of view. And personally, this is my favorite astrophysics book. I'm probably a bit biased because I did my thesis on compact objects and exploding stars, but I have used this book probably more than any astrophysics book I have. It does, however, require a basic background in physics and mathematics. Someone with a bachelor's in physics or maybe even a junior in undergrad physics would be able to follow this. And finally, at number one, we have An Introduction to the Study of Stellar Structure by Chandrasekhar. If you're interested in stellar physics, it's unlikely you don't know who Chandrasekhar is. He is one of the pioneers of stellar physics, and many of the theories we have about stars come directly from him. So if you're interested in stellar physics, how could you not own this book? And that covers my five best books to learn stellar physics. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you'd like to see more, be sure to hit the bell to be notified for the release of future videos. I look forward to reading your comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.